Alrighty, so are you ready to finish off Mermaid Annabelle? We're going to be doing uh, her tail and her little top in this video, and just finishing off the image. This, once again, Annabelle the Mermaid from Crafty Sentiments Designs, and I stamped her on Copic Express It cardstock with Memento Tuxedo Black ink. And the colors I'm going to be using for her tail are Y11, Y13, Y17, YR04, YR09, <clears throat> and E09. And I just thought it would be fun be, um, to make her kind of like a little goldfish. Um, just something about the shape of her. You know, she's kind of cute and pudgy, and I thought it just reminded me of a goldfish. Plus, I th I'm going to like how the orange is going to work with that kind of blue um, hair. It's, you know, because they're opposites on the color wheel, um, they'll make each other pop. So, that'll be cute. So, I'm just going to get started. I'm going to start with my lightest, and it's the Y11. And I'm actually going to... Um, tackle her the fin part and kind of her little flouncy fins around um, the tail. I'm not going to really touch that yet. I'm going to do these first because I'm going to do those in a more uh, smooth look. And I'm just going to lay the color down. And then on here, kind of get in to the little ruffles. And at the moment, I'm going to leave, you know, like this edge and then the edges on those ones white because um, I'm going to save those. They're going to be my lightest towards the end. And let's see. So as it comes up, I want to make this a little bit darker because I got more sunlight hitting the top of her tail than down here on the bottom. Okay. So now the Y13. And I'm treating it kind of like I would um, a part in a hair, in, in like on a head of hair. Um, where it's, I'm kind of starting in the center here and feathering out. Um, and that's just, you know, my choice. You could um, certainly color it any way you want. There's no hard and fast rules on what a, a mermaid's tail is going to look like. And then on here... Just kind of lay in a little bit of it. And it's kind of, again, kind of like we did the starfish. It's just little sloppy um, touches of the color, kind of bouncing it on there. Then the Y17. I'm just starting in that kind of the center there. Not pulling it as far, these darker colors. I did my last two. Do want to bring it around a bit down here. And right there. And underneath there. And then the same up here. Just kind of hitting a little bit of color. Just at the base. Where it kind of meets her body. Now I'm going to go to my YR04. Just getting that, knocking the color in. Not worrying about the blending yet. And this is, I'm just with the tip of my marker just very little because I want to keep these kind of thin dealies pretty light and bright with the yellow and then just a touch of the YR09 
just kind of lay it in real quick. Okay. I'm not going to use the E09 on these parts of her. That's what I'm going to save for the tail itself. Okay, so now I'm blending back down. Starting right over top the 09, the YR09, with the YR04. And just kind of pulling out a little further. And again, just kind of adding a little bit more over top up here, but still not a ton. And then the Y17. And that's about midway in the 04. I'm not going to go right over um, the 09 with this. Same up here. Squiggle it on, start kind of blending those colors. And the Y13. Blending out. Flip her a little bit, work this way. And this is where I'm going to do a bit more color than I've been doing up here. I want because I want this more yellow. And then finishing it off with the Y11, which is now going to go into what I left white to start. Same up here. It looks like I kind of missed a little bit of the orange, a layer of the orange, so it's easy enough to add in the color. Just hitting it with a little bit of the Y17, the YR04, and the YR09. I can't even tell I missed it the first time around. I'll blend it back with the Y13. There we go. Back on track. Okay, so now um, the, ba the body of her tail using the same colors and I'm just going to start with my um, lightest the Y11 and I've done this before in another video um, but we're going to do it again here and I'm just dotting on the color and I'm not worrying about those pearls just like up in her hair because I'm going to go back in with um, the Ranger liquid pearls to add that in and I am just dotting on color on her tail and this is going to give us kind of the effect of um, the light hitting different scales on her body well look at that I miss more of her little roughly fin down there well, we'll get it as we go on this then the Y13 and just um, with this technique wherever you want um, it to be deeper in shadow um, that's where you bunch the dots tighter together and then as you um, come around to an area that you want to be more light then you start spacing out the dots so there's more area in between them so and that's going to create um, the shadowing in the in, with this technique so that's why I'm really, they're almost, it's almost becoming a s solid swath of color over here um, to create that shadow. But um, 
I want to continue with the little polka dot um, look and that'll and then just getting that on there okay and then the Y17 again much tighter over on this side that's opposite our light source which I established in the first couple videos is coming from the right um, so everything over on uh, the left side of her body is going to be uh, darker more in shadow then I just space them further out as we get more on this side of her body that's closer to the light source so it just gradiates to that area now the YR04 and these are the colors where we're really going to start getting some contrast going and again just using um, the, the tip of the pen, the marker, um, the harder you push, the um, bigger the dot is going to be. So, you know, you can control the size of the point um, by a, the amount of pressure that you give the marker when you're going putting the color on. And I'm just doing a light touch. and tighter again as I have it meeting um, that smooth fin just so it'll kind of blend in and kind of lead into it. Okay. And the YR09. Yeah, I think she's, this little Annabelle's going to make a cute little goldfish mermaid. I think that'll be fun, something kind of different. Because who doesn't like goldfish? They're lucky. Okay. Now I am going to add in a little bit, just a small amount of the E09. Um, just back here where I want it really shadowed just to add to that contrast again And we're not going to go back and blend this. We're going to let the dots stay as they are. But we will work our way back down again. And I'm not going to worry about the 09, the wire 09, but I want to get some more of the 04 on here. And this is where you start, you know, how much of what color you want to kind of add in. And where. You don't have to work strictly back and forth the way you did. So like now I'll do some of the 17 but just a little bit right there, not much. And then I'm going to skip the 13 and go to the 11 just to finish off this side here. And again, I forgot that little thin. Sorry about that, but we'll, we'll add the color in real quick. There we go. Okay. Oh, and then I have her little top, which I'm just going to use the yellows. Um, I'm just going to get the Y13 in here and the Y17 to kind of shade it 
nothing fancy because there's hardly any of it showing. Okay, so that is you know all I'm gonna do um, to the tail marker wise. Um, but now I am going to go in. I have um, some of the Spike pens in lemon, red, and orange. And I'm going to take the orange one first up on her little um, starfish. Give him some sparkle up here. Okay. And then I'm going to use the yellow on the frilly parts of her fin because that's what I, the color I want to reinforce down here. So I'm just kind of following those lines. And this is going to add a nice sparkle um, to her. And then do it down here as well, along her little fin. And then I'm going to use, I think I'll use the yellow here too. And I'm going to follow these lines with the yellow. And that's going to get the sparkle throughout her tail. I treat it kind of like um, I do when I'm adding the highlights and lowlights into the hair. Um, where I can put in my own lines as well as following the lines they give me. Just to get more color on there. Okay. And I'm going to go in on this side of her body with the yellow since I don't want to darken that up with a red. But I do want to take my red and go on this side of her body where I put in that E09 and add the sparkle, a darker sparkle down there. And it's just subtle and you, you don't need to do it. Um, but it's just a, a fun little trick. Okay. Actually, I'm going to get the spots on this guy red there too. Okay, so we got that. And now, like I've been saying, I'm going to take um, the Liquid Pearls White Opal from Ranger. I'm just going to use those since I colored over all those little pearls. Now I can go back in and carefully dot them back on because you can still see where they were. the ones up in her hair and then she had the great little pearl bands down here and again the lighter the touch the less um, whatever this is, goo, <laughs> is going to go on so the smaller the pearl. And then squeeze a little bit harder and, you'll, and leave it there a little bit longer. You'll get a bigger pearl. Okay. So now she's got pretty bands of pearls decorating her ensemble. And that is a finished little Annabelle the Mermaid. 
and look at that contrast between the hair and the tail. Isn't that pretty? Then I'm going to take, just whenever I use those little liquid pearls, just flip the image over and give it a couple flicks. And that just helps them to kind of settle and lose their points. Um, and round them out a bit. There we go. Yeah, and then I just let that sit and dry, and then I'll cut her out and add her to a card. And when I do, I promise that I'll put a link um, from my blog onto this video. I can't promise it's going to be right away, as I got other projects I have to post first. But when I do, you'll know. So thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed um, this little coloring series. And I'll see you again later.